everybody and welcome to another one of my YouTube videos. Today I've got a game for you in the Egg Tiger, which is a German tier 9 tank destroyer. Uh, this is on the armoured line. Um, we're here on Sand River Assault, we're on the defending side. As you can see it's a tier 9 game, which is, you know, very good news for me. And also there's no artillery at all, so having looked at the um, matchmaker, uh, the opposition, uh, I'm pretty sure that, you know, the, you know, the majority of those tanks will struggle to pen me uh, on my sort of like uh, uh, upper hull. So with no artillery, uh, as I'm down here, what I can do is I can set myself up at a G2 and um, you know just shoot at anything and everyone uh, without having to fear getting hit by artillery or anyone actually penning me. So I make my way up to here. And there's also, you know, already a load of um, enemy light tanks and scout tanks down there in the uh, in the gully there. Just checking to see where my arcs of fire are. There's the T54 mod one, put a shot into his side for quite a bit of damage. There's an Amex 1375, and uh, watch, you know, he's going to shoot at me. He's not going to, you know, have a quick snapshot at him, but um, yeah, he's shooting and missing. A shot straight through the top of his turret for a considerable amount of damage. Yeah, I mean they're, they're, they're struggling to hit me to begin with and also even if they do hit me there's no way they're going to go through my armor, not even probably with premium shells. So um, this is just a shooting gallery. I mean when you get to matches like this you should really, you know, you've really got to take advantage of them because, I mean, they don't come around that often. But when they do, it's really your time to shine when you're a top tier. You know, really go for it because that's, that's usually the time you're going to get an ace tanker. So just wait around, see that bulldog moving off in the distance, line him up, fire, hammer rack him, take him out. Just waiting here. I mean, this is this is this is possibly the most ideal sort of matchup for the Jag Tiger. No artillery, good cover. I'm, as you can see on the mini map, I'm over here by myself, but um, I'm pretty confident I can hold this without any any problems at all. Spot that M103, trying to back up. A shot straight for the side of his turret. Zoom in. See if I can oh, get shot from the side. There's that T10, but again, it just bounced off. There's the M103. He's sort of stuck there now behind this rock, but I can see the top of his turret and I can punch straight through it. And again, this is still the stock gun. I'm about halfway, sort of, you know, ground up half half the experience needed for the, 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 the top gun. So there's that MX12T. Not quite sure what he was trying to do, but I put him out of his misery. Line up where that T10 was last spotted. And uh, that is on the mini map, that third down, that, that SU 101. Uh, blood's up. I mean, the score is 7 0, so they've decided to go in and, and charge that IS 3. Unfortunately, that IS 3 is not on his alone. There's that T10. They've also got that T10 who will be having side shots into their, uh, you know, into their armor. So, yeah, they've pushed out there and now, and now they're stuck. And as you can see, there's a T-32, there's a Rheinmetall Borsig, there's a pile of other enemy tanks that were never spotted, but have been waiting for someone to come around that corner. There's that T-10 again, put another shot into his side. Well, whereas if they'd just stayed here, they would have been fine. I mean, it is an assault. The enemy have to attack you, so if they don't attack, you win by default, so... And the pair of them, they are platooned up. They're going to get rather, rather salty in the chat, but... Um, Oh, managed to finish up that T Tim and he managed to pen me somehow. It doesn't matter, he's out of the game. I'm on four kills. Most the majority of the enemy team are dead. You've got the three tanks here on the sort of western side and maybe two others that haven't been accounted for. Okay, one other that hasn't been accounted for, that VK three thousand and two D. I sort of back up and the sort of line up the spot down there. 12T clicking on me, telling me to go and 
attack those three tanks. I, I'm not going to do that because even though you know this is a Jag Tiger and you're a tier 9 tank destroyer, you have loads of armor against three tanks with turrets. All they need to do is get behind me and I'm sort of basically in big trouble. So I've got no support here either. All the other friendly tank destroyers are a, a, a lot further back. So I'm just going to wait. As I said, there's no rush. It's an assault. You win by default if the enemy don't attack. So just, just bide your time. Just watch the mini-map, see where your um, your tanks are going and what they're likely to spot. Now I can see that that Rheimatal has moved back to a B2, which means there can only be the Ice 3 and that T32 left here at E1. So, sort of moved up to see if I could get a shot at the Rheimatal, but um, now that the you know, friendly Waffentrager Panzer IV and T28 Proto Tank Destroyers are moving up this way. I can make my push and engage these two heavy tanks over here. So roll up. Hello, boys. <laughs> they back off. Uh, I can only see the turret of the T32. And it just just watch this. Shoot him in the Kerpla, but it still bounces off, and that's the that shows you the power of uh, the T32's top turret. So yeah. Managed to flood my shot against the Ice 3, and they're shooting me, you know, to no effect. You're gonna have a real tough time with, you know, with their tier 8 guns to pen me, even if they load premium. I still think they're gonna struggle. So I roll up, get the hull of the T32, a shot into him. Someone manages to track me, it was a T32. I considered using my uh, repair kit, but um, I've got quite high sort of repair skill on this tank destroyer, so I'm gonna keep it just in case they try and push and flank me. T-32 gets taken out, it's just this IS-3 here. Line up his lower hull. Just punch straight through. Wait to reload. I mean, he's doing his best, he's rocking, but um, against firepower of this magnitude, <laughs> you've got no chance. So, yeah, IS-3 gets taken out. I got shot in the side there by the Rheimatal, who'd moved back to C-1, but um, yeah. And just before I can take him out, he gets taken out by someone else. So, um, yeah, that was a game 15 4. Here are the results. That was an ace stacking game in the Yag Tiger with a stock gun. I also managed to get scout duty and high caliber. Top for damage and XP with 5,817 damage. So, yeah, that was almost, you know, 2,500 points blocked by my armor as well. So, good game.